Greetings family, we thank God for another opportunity to work on our salvation. We are starting today Bible studies in Jesus' name. Amen man of God. Today we are going to discuss something about family altars and how our family can be deliverance from this. Before that, let us look at this scripture. Colossians 2 14-15, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Family deliverance is one of the toughest battle a person can fight. Family constitute the symbol of trees and branches. A family cannot prosper when they are into satanic bondage. The person might be working, but there are certain ancestral powers wasting the efforts of the person. The reason many people are hiring pastor these days for deliverance, it is because of some powers challenging the progress of people in that family. If your foundation is destroyed, you cannot marry. When your foundation is destroyed, you will be operating under a curse you don't even know its source. That is why many people lay their hands on good things, but they do not prosper with them. Yes, dear sister. You cannot fulfill your destiny in life until there is a thorough deliverance in your family. The family has a glory which the enemy is contesting with and if children are not careful, the enemy may hijack it. Many people are simply in family bondage. They cannot make progress nor achieve anything in life. It is as if their mother gives birth to them into family problems. Almost everything they lay their hands on cannot prosper. If you look at the background of some families, you will agree with me that most of them are suffering in the areas of marriage, finances, progress, victory. You don't give up to those challenges rooted from your foundation. There is a reason God established you in that family. In some villages today, the practice of witchcraft is becoming an acceptable occupation. They practice witchcraft in a broad daylight. They make sure there's an embargo in some families who have great chances of prospering through children. That's why there are many incompleted building in the village. These foundational power does not want such a family to come out with a blessing. If you are in a family bondage and you have been trying so hard to receive your deliverance without no solution, today, may the Lord pull you out from every evil foundation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen Daddy. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You. One of the things that makes some families to suffer, it is generational curse. The generational curse from the ancestral power can be issued into the generation of the unborn children to keep them bonded and continue from the affliction where their parents stops. Until there is deep deliverance in your family, your life would continue to experience disappointments and failure at the edge of breakthrough. Some curses can glue a person for many years. Once you are operating under generational curse, or you come from a family pattern where they are known for a particular negative thing, it will certainly affect your progress and dreams. Many villages need deliverance and a high sense of freedom from satanic oppression and captivity. Whether you are in city or abroad, the moment your origin is from your village, then you have great works to do spiritually. For example, if they issued a curse of late marriage and poverty against the family line, it will catch up with the destiny of children and the unborn ones. That's why any situation that has to do with foundation has to be fought with tooth to tooth, hand for hands. Family deliverance is a gateway of freedom if supported by the Holy Spirit. There are some people that called pastors or evangelists for family liberation. There will be instant purging of the foundation of such family and of course within the shortest time, there will be great news for the family. Revelation 12:11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Amen. Amen. But the mistake of many is that, after the deliverance, they rested, while the enemy reinforce again with more formidable to fight against the pastors that set them free, if not called, and deal with the family. The reinforcement of these demons leads to, untimely death in the familiani first child must pass through operation chronic sicknesses and diseases records of high number of jobless people in the familia making sure someone run mad every year embargo would be placed in any man or woman that marry us there will be hardship and constant poverty rising and falling will be obvious she drop out from school good news is buried in the familia no progress in the family circle battles have become the daily bread of many families today and it might have seemed that god is seriously angry with such family in the real sense 
there is no love and unity in the family. For example, one person can padlock the destiny of the family. Funny enough, the person could be a little girl, a lady, mature evil personality. Today's believers are busy moving their waist in parties. In some families, it is forbidden for people to become great. Once these ancestral demons found out that a particular person has gone to the stage of stardom, they cut the person to start crawling again. That's a very bad experience. I pray that may your life never be cut short by the devil, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the door has opened you can ask any question about this, what you do not understand. Thanks man of God. My question is, how do they attack certain families? When your grandfather or grandmother or people in your family is exposing the success of a person who is in the city to them. When you come from a polygamous family, there would be a chance of stepmother having a connection with enchanters and diviners. She will be jealous because none of the children is sending money to her. When you travel to the village and go there with plenty of gifts, money to your family without considering the stepmother or other people in that village. When there is a discussion between your family and another family telling or exchanging vital information to each other. Know that the demon is very wise here. When the family wall is cracking down. That is, the spirit of prayerlessness and strife in the family. Daddy please my question is, WHO are the powers preventing the family deliverance? Evil woman, strong man, polygamous witchcraft powers, native doctor, wicked personality, there must be a Judas in that family, household powers, curse related powers, embargo powers, idolatry demonic powers, stubborn and repentant marine powers, flying witchcraft demons, bird, vulture etc, vowing powers, powers that vows no way for the family? Yeah this is serious ooh, my last question sir, symptoms of a family under the bondage of the enemy. Awkwardness, stagnation and suffering, confusion and frustration setbacks and failure in marital delay and disappointments various aspects of hardship and poverty, rising and falling women get old very fast especially when they are not married. By the grace of God we are ended our studies today I advise you all as you are going home now, repent from all your sins, Fast, pray and deliverance shall be your portion. Amen. Man of God has really opened my eyes today, I will not joke about this at all. Thou sword of deliverance, cut down the tree of family affliction, in the name of Jesus every evil power from my father's house, perish in the name of Jesus. Every evil power of my mother's house, perish, in the name of Jesus. Every power that pursued my parents, release me in the name of Jesus. Every evil power pursuing me from my father's house, perish, in the name of Jesus. Every evil power pursuing me from my mother's house, perish, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft tree binding my placenta, wither in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answer my prayer, Amen. Mom I now see the curse of our family, nothing better is working for us, because of family altars. Wow, thoughts great news my son, why are you crying? This is the time to stand on your ground and set us free. Okay, Mama. It's well, my son. A hey, Mama. Father, I thank you for the biological parents you gave me. I thank you also for you are my new birth parent. I thank you for the blood of Jesus that redeems me from every ungodly parentage and inheritance. Amen. I therefore claim my new birth parentage in Abraham through Christ Jesus. I declare that I am a blessed seed of Abraham. I repent of the sins of my parents that opened the door for generational battles. I ask you Lord to forgive us and have mercy on us, in Jesus name. Father, I petition against every unfinished and transferred battle from my parents. Let the battles and the forces responsible for be the blood of Jesus. I reject and renounce all satanic transfers and handovers from my parents. I command every unfinished parental battle to terminate in my life, in Jesus' name. I decree that these battles will not be transferred to my own children, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, we are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen, you. This is the reason why none of my family has made it in life. Enough is enough. I decree that the powers that stop my parents will not be able to stop me, in Jesus' name. Declare that by the grace of God, I shall win this battle. Because I am born of God, I shall overcome the world and every battle in it, in Jesus' name. 
By the blood of Jesus, I blot out every evil family record that may be speaking against me. Like Joseph, I receive the anointing to terminate generational battles. Like Jephthah, I receive the grace to rewrite my family history positively. Like David, use me to kill the Goliath my seniors could not kill. Lord, give me power to win the battles my parents could not win. Because I am a seed of Abraham, I shall always possess the gates of my enemies, in Jesus' name. Let the anointing of prevailing prayer fall on me now, in Jesus' name. I receive power to travail in prayer until I win this battle. O Lord, I take authority over principalities and bind every strong man attached to any area of my life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I break all marital curses placed on my family by any household enemies, in the name of Jesus I fire back every arrow of family idols affecting my marital breakthrough, in the name of Jesus fire back every arrow of family idols affecting my marital breakthrough, in the name of Jesus. All family idols from both sides of my parents, release me in the name of Jesus and the name of Jesus, I refuse to allow any evil pattern programmed by any of my ancestor to hinder the promises of God in my life, in Jesus no may be the power of God, I renounce all hidden soul ties covenant, in the name of Jesus, every cycle of hardship in my family, break in the name of Jesus, O Lord, I decree my family will make progress, in the name of Jesus O Lord, let every evil power trying to redesign my destiny be put to shame in Jesus' name. Every generational trouble in my family, disappear in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. This evil altars must come to the end, all my friends are making in my life, why only me? Battle of failure expire now in Jesus' name. Ancient battles of my father's house, I terminate it by fire, in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop me. I stop you in Jesus name. Let the present battles of my life expire now, in Jesus name. Thank the Lord for his redemptive power which neither fail none diminish quake Michael, O Lord walk back to the foundation of my life and carry out the necessary surgical operation. By the power of God, I release myself from ever marital and ancestral curse in Jesus name. I command every evil plantation in my life to come out now in Jesus name. I command every evil plantation in my life to come out now in Jesus name. Every evil mark on my family, be erased in Jesus name. O Lord, let all negative material circulating in my bloodstream, be evacuated, in the name of Jesus thou power of God, go into my family and deliver everyone who are in chains today, in Jesus name. Every witchcraft challenge of my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. O Lord, in my family, I cancel untimely death in Jesus' name. Claim our family deliverance from the spirit of poverty and suffering, in Jesus' name. O Lord, as a person, I claim divine prosperity. I must shine in the name of Jesus. O Lord, as a person, I receive the miracle of supernatural promotion, in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for setting me free. This is how family altars work to destroy man life, and this is the reason why you must stand up to set yourself free in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. When the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. Please if you have not watched part 1 of how family altars work, kindly do your best to watch so that you will get this message clear. If you are blessed with this video, do your best to subscribe and share the link to bless others. God bless you.